Barry Beckett was the catalyst of the sound at Muscle Shoals Sound. Had it not been for Barry Beckett, it would have been just been another studio with some fairly good musicians. Barry made them the most sought after musicians in the world because Barry was the leader, he was the arranger, he wrote all the charts, he told them what to play, when to play. Uh, he was just awesome. At the end of my career at Sound, we were recording the uh, Sanford Townsend album, which had smoke from a distant fire. I worked on the album for about three weeks. It was being produced by Jerry Wexler and Barry Beckett. I had Barry sitting on one side of me, Jerry Wexler sitting on the other side, and Jerry Wexler would say, start the tape. Barry would say, don't start it yet. Then I'd start the tape eventually, and then Barry would say, okay, punch in here. Wexler would say, no, don't punch in yet. And at my state of mind, I just reached a point, and I just stopped the machine. I stood up, walked out the door, got in my car, went home, got in my pickup truck, and my, got my motorcycles, and went to Bruton Branch for a week. And I came back a week later, walked into the control room, sat down behind the console. Everybody else filed in, and we picked up right where we left off. And to this day, not one person ever said one word to me about why'd you do it or anything. But I knew Wexler would get me somehow. And what he did was, on the credits, he listed me last, even though I did 98% of the recording. But I didn't mix it. It was mixed by my dear friend, Greg Ham, who had been standing behind me for two years watching. He knew how to mix. So I had two assistants, Greg Ham and Steve Melton. They've both gone on to make names for themselves.